back to our stupid reactions. You need some Corbin. I'm Rick. Are you? I am. Are you? I often figured that you? out myself. There's sometimes I'm confused, but then I go back to the mirror and I realize I'm Rick. Do you cry then? Only when it's October, because in the turning of the fall, my emotions tend to dwindle with the leaves themselves. Deep thoughts by Rick. This is a. You, what have I said so far? I don't know. Did, did we even start filming? Did they I can see? follow us. We didn't do any of the usual Instagram, Twitter, juicy. Oh, you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for all the juicy did. content. It's so I ask you, are juicy. You Rick? I know. I don't know if. It, picture, if you will, a reaction channel. <clears throat> Thank you also to Patreon. I follow the official Twitter account. Today we're reacting to a kind of song. Don't do drugs. Huh? Uh, is that light particularly bright today? Cause like when I'm looking here, Jesus, and then I go down here, I'm like blind spotted by that light when I go to read, and it's like I can't even see that. Or maybe I'm just losing. Confidence. Would you read the title? <laughs> uh, Bhagyada Lakshmi. I've got the blind blind light thing. Parama. Parama. Backstory on the writer of this devotional song. Purandara Dasa was a wealthy jewelry merchant from Karnataka who gave up everything to become a devotee of Lord Krishna, an, incarn an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. He expressed his devotion and love towards God in the form of the songs he composed. He's one of the chief founders of the basics of South Indian classical music, Carnatic music, for which he is known as the father, which is, I believe it's pronounced Pithimaha, of Carnatic music. He composed songs in Kannada and Sanskrit. His pen name was Purandara Vitala. Vitala being one of the incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Cool. So it's like a, a devotion song? Mm -hmm. Devotional songs. Uh, Subbed by our subbers. So thank you, subbers. You are the subbing of my subs. Here we go. <laughs>
teacher. Yeah, clearly teaching. Uh -huh. They were doing breathing. They were just... Thank you. Yeah. What a beautiful wow, voice on that girl. Not only obviously was the devotion or the, the what she was singing beautiful. Yeah. But that is a talented little girl. Absolutely. Who's done a lot of work. Yeah, I mean, yeah. for being such a young age and she's already more talented than you are, how does that make you feel? That's no problem at all with that. <laughs> What is her name? It, I don't want to butcher her name. It's a the, 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 her name came up. It's, it's a long name. I want to pronounce it right. Where is it? Is this? Yeah, just go back a, um, toward the very end. It okay. has her name. No, no. Yeah, that's it. The sort. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay, please forgive me if this is a mispronunciation. Suryagayathri. Soyoyathri. I hope that's close. S O O R Y. Um, and how old is this in regards to, like, is this current, like the past year, and she's still this age, or was this a couple of years ago? I have no idea. A A. And I don't know, obviously. We're, we're laymen who have no understanding of the discipline. We just hear what we hear and know if it sounds like it's in tune and know what the vocal gymnastics are that are required for this kind of singing. But for those of you who know the discipline of this particular kind of music, let us know how good, because to our ignorant ears, she she sounds really, really good. She's 13 or 14 right now. She sounds incredible. Um, man. Just just pitch perfect. That there were times when she went down to that. Da, 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 da. There was, there was that, that final note that she's just sitting in. She doesn't, there's not a moment of weakness in that. Or variants it's just she's it's almost you can almost hear the harmonic series reverberating 
a few times when she did it. it, it really beautiful. Yeah, it looks like she was young at that point. Looks a little bit younger, right? Yeah, yeah like maybe she was more but like that was 11 or 12. Posted maybe four years ago. Okay. No, yeah. she's, she's 13, 13 or 14 now. now. So that looked like she was maybe 10 Nine. or 11. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I would, I would love to explore her more because she oh, I, is so talented. Can you imagine what she's going to sound like when she's in her early 20s and she's got another decade of doing this? Uh, she, she's <coughs> she's going to be quite extraordinary at that point because she's already incredible. Is she, like a, is she like a known singer now? Let us know. Or is she just like an internet sensation? Because uh, I don't know, but she deserves to be known because she's oh. extremely talented, especially for like that age, which 9, 10, 11, whatever she was, to be singing at that level. That yeah, and, and, and you can see clearly on her face the joy of doing it. I loved watching her, the two of them interact with each other. I'm because guessing that was her dad. Either her dad or her guru, her teacher, mm -hmm. uh, maybe both. Uh, it, the, it just looked as it should be. It looked like it was a delight for both of them mm -hmm. to be doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, in music, there's a lot of times where kids are put through music lessons and they didn't want to do it and then they thank their parents later mm -hmm. for having pushed them to do it. But in a perfect world, I would think that when you're doing something like that creatively, it's because the kid just wants to get up in the morning and that's what they want to go do. I want to go sing. I want to work on the music. And it looks like that for her. It looks like she just is enjoying every single minute of what she's doing. Well, she's extremely, extremely talented. Very talented. I'd love to chant her more. Uh, and any, you know, like, our most popular video ever. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Holy, that, yeah, maybe this is her, just older. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, like, just... I literally was thinking about that when we were watching this. I'm like, this is probably going to get 5 million views. Because she's such an adorable little girl. That oldie girl. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, look, kids that are so, so talented are just... Adorable. She's just supremely tad. Only she was adorable. Adorable. Yeah. She was just adorable. Um, but yeah, let us know uh, what other videos we would react to down in the comment section below. Yeah. And anything else? Yep.